This video illustrates how to define the variables x and y when you are doing word problems in a course that includes systems of equations. These word problems are meant to be solved with substitution, elimination, or comparison. In the first example, Vanessa buys seven cans of soup and five cans of stew for $19.50. It would cost $10.50 to buy three cans of each. What are the prices of a single can of soup and a single can of stew? As you can see down here in blue, the hint is usually the question at the end tells you how to define X and Y. In this case, the question at the end is saying, what is the price of a single can of soup? What is the price of a single can of stew? And that is exactly how you want to define your X and your Y. Therefore, I define x as equal to price of one can of soup and y is equal to the price of one can of stew. There's only one other way of doing it, which is to do the same thing but in reverse. Here, x equals the price of one can of stew and y equals the price of one can of soup. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Either way you will get to the right answer. Let's try again with this second example. Four years ago, Barney was four times as old as Arnold. In 16 years, Barney will be twice as old as Arnold. How old are they now? The question at the end says, how old are they now? So I will define x to be equal to Barney's age now, and y is equal to Arnold's age now. If I define them in reverse, it works just as well. x is equal to Arnold's age now, y is equal to Barney's age now. I can go ahead and make my equations either way, and either way I will end up with the right answer. Let's look at the last example. Find two numbers where twice the larger number is equal to three times the smaller number, and the difference between the numbers is 15. This one is a little bit more tricky because there is no little question at the end to give us a hint. But the truth is the question at the end is really here at the beginning where it says find two numbers. This problem could have added a sentence at the end that said, what are the two numbers? Or, what is the larger number and what is the smaller number? We can still define our variables as x is equal to the larger number and y is equal to the smaller number. And it works just as well to define them in reverse. x is equal to the smaller number, y is equal to the larger number. This is how you define the x and y when you are doing word problems in a systems of equations course. The next step will be to use the information in the word problem to create two equations, both of which include both x and y.